What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of the Pink Slip series here on Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the series, this is the series where I play one person each week, and they have the opportunity to win either a really one really good card or even a series of good cards. In this case, this week, we are playing for three different cards. Number one, we're playing for Ultimate Legend Dan Deerdorf. Number two, Madden 25 Rob Gronkowski. And then number three, Sparkle, the positional collection Jamal Charles. These three cards are all on the line today as I play my opponent who is known as Agent Penguin 8 here on PlayStation 4. Now, all he had to do was retweet the tweet that I made on Tuesday, which contained the hashtag Clickwood Pink Slips, and he followed me on Twitter. Those two things are the only thing that you have to do each week to be entered into Pink Slips. Then, on Thursday afternoon, evening-ish, uh, we will be picking two people each week, same thing as we've done over the past couple of weeks. Those two people will face off head-to-head -head like they do today, and they, uh, the winner then will go on to face me. And we actually do have a requirement that at least one of those two competitors has to be streaming the game so that everybody can see who the opponent for me is going to be. So this week it was, like I said, Agent Penguin 8. He has a 99 overall team. He's a pretty good player. I was watching him in the, in the stream and uh, he kind of dominated that game. I think he forced like five interceptions. So I'm a little bit worried, uh, but I did pick up on a couple of things I think that he likes to do. So hopefully I can, you know, make him make a mistake. And if he does, then a lot of times I'm able to walk away with a win. So with that being said, guys, we are going to get into the game. I want to wish him good luck in advance of the game. Obviously, you guys will be watching this after uh, the game already happened. But um, as of right now, I want to wish him good luck, but I still want to hold on to my damn cards. So <laughs> wishing myself even better luck, of course. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy today's game. If you do, make sure you press the like button below. If you're new to the channel, also make sure you press that subscribe button. And also leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to play for next week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and let's get into the game. Let's okay, go. so it is the first play of the game now. And uh, my opponent, I know, has been studying my plays. I gave him about a half hour between his play-in game and this game. So I know that he's going to be expecting me to probably run the ball plenty here. And I am going to. But on this first play, we're going to try and go play action. Hopefully, he commits on the run. And he did, it looks like. Well, at least a little bit, anyway. Let's go, baby. Oh, Calvin, come on, baby. You got to come up with that. I hit him right in the hands. Ugh, everybody in this game is just so awful at catching in traffic. I don't understand why. Well, we caught him off guard there on that first play, but it still didn't work out for us. Second play, we are going to go to the run, and we get a nice gain here. Gain of about nine, so that'll set us up with a third and one. Very manageable here on third down. So my opponent likes to have a lot of cornerbacks on the field, it looks like, and this should be an easy pickup, and it is. Rod Woodson crushed me there. I'm surprised I didn't fumble, but we do pick up the first down there on the first drive of the game. Back to running the football here on first and 10. We've got Barry Sanders, of course, and here we go. I noticed that he did commit to the run there on that last play, by the way, which I wasn't particularly surprised by based on the fact that it was third and one, but I am going to try and keep an eye on that. We get a nice gain there on first, or to get another first down. So we've hit him with a couple nice runs now, and I think it's time to go back to the play action. Hopefully he commits again on the run. No committing here, but we still got our tight end open. There we go. Nice gain. Good play, Shannon Sharp. That was a nice first down, and we are continuing to move the ball here on this first drive. First and 10 again now. And look how many guys he's moving in place there to try and stop this run. This might be the kind of situation where I want to try and throw him off here and maybe move one of my guys out. Hopefully that confuses him a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yep, Barry got the edge. All right, we got a decent gain there. Nice little six-yard pickup. So a six-yard gain there, and Barry's looking a little tired, so we are going to let CJ2K come in. Let's see if he moves his guys into place again here, and he did, but we got the edge again, it looks like. Dion has a lot of speed, though, and I can't believe he... How do you not give me a first down there? The ball is like a full yard past the first down marker. What the hell was that? Third down and one here. I am expecting him to commit again on the run, and he did, but we are going to pick up another first down. Look at that bowling ball, Jerome Bettis. Picks up six there with that truck stick. <laughs> what a monster he is. First down again here. I like where he's, move where he's moving his defenders. 
Yes, yes. Let's go, Barry. Back juke. Oh, almost broke that for a touchdown, but we have pretty much run out the entire clock here in the first quarter. So we are going to move on to the second quarter here with this next play. So it's first and goal from the six, and I've been running the ball right down his throat this entire drive. Let's try and hit him with a pass here. Got him. Oh, baby. Shannon Sharp makes the catch, and we have our first touchdown of the game. That was a great drive for me to start this thing off. I'm feeling very confident, at least in my offense. I'm not so sure on defense because I saw that he was able to move the ball very, very easily against his opponent in the first game. So I am a little bit worried, but at least we got points on the board here in the first quarter. So one thing that I did notice about this guy was that he liked to run a lot out of uh, the shotgun formations. Oh, we almost intercepted that. Oh, he tried to test us deep there. I think that he thought that uh, I didn't have anybody over the top, but I actually did have both my safeties over the top there. Uh, kind of surprised that we didn't go get an interception there with Sparkle Brian Dawkins. Second and 10 now. Oh, I played that just terribly. Well, he got a nice first down there to Randy Moss. Uh, can't really uh, complain about anything there. That was just a nice read. Interesting setup here. Uh, he's got wide receivers even on the line of scrimmage. And Mike Allstop picks up a nice pickup there for him. 12 yards there, just running straight up the middle. That was pretty devastating. Now, like I said, I did notice that he liked to run a lot out of the shotgun formations. And of course, I saw it coming and still couldn't do anything. Still picks up 10, even though I saw it coming. What can you do? That just happens sometimes in Madden. I've got to be very careful here because I cannot allow him to go deep. But I know that he likes to run. So I'm trying to be as careful about that as I can. And we get the user pick. Going over the middle, trying to test me. And that ain't going to happen, baby. Derek Brooks, the best coverage linebacker in this game. I absolutely love it. We are on the board on offense, and we are back again on offense. This could be the type of game where I force him to make those passes over the middle. I get a ton of interceptions. That's what I'm really hoping for here. That's kind of what I thought might be the case if I played my game coming into this one, and I love that I got that first drive interception. I'm really hoping that he commits on the run like he has a few times, and if he does, he's going to pay for it here. Nope, he didn't, pay, he didn't commit. We are going to take off here, though. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to throw that. That was horrible. <gasps> Brian Finneran! That was delicious. Oh, my goodness! And he, <laughs> he pressed pause. I didn't even mean to throw that. I was trying to throw it to square, and I accidentally pressed circle. Oh, my gosh. That was ridiculous. I am the luckiest player ever. I'm the luckiest player of all time. I'm the... <laughs> I have no words. After that ridiculous completion, we now have the ball in scoring position here. And we've got Jerome Bettis. We are going to run it straight up the middle again. Let's go, bus. All right. He picks up eight there, and we are at second and one. I guess nine, technically. Uh, but we're at the four-yard line now. All right. We're going to run Jerome Bettis right up the middle again. Or are we? Maybe not. No, we're going to go to the outside with Bettis, I think, here. Let's go, Bettis. Get outside. There we go. Bettis into the end zone. We make it 14-0 after that ridiculously lucky completion to Brian Finneran. I still just have no words for that. I don't think I've ever had a luckier completion. I, I honestly don't think I have. So we forced an interception on the first drive, and we've scored two touchdowns now. Uh, we got him to make that mistake, and that, that could be a big game changer here. Oh, man. Like I said, I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Big game there. I, I knew that he was going to go over the middle all the time in this game. Uh, I have to make sure that I cover those over the middle routes, especially guys like Randy Moss. I cannot allow him to go undefended like that. That was just terrible. So after the stop there on first down, we are now here on second and 10. Wow, he goes over the middle again to Moss. I have to be able to stop those over the middle passes. Come on, Ray Lewis. Okay, he is going to run it up the middle here. And we make the tackle. He's got 16 seconds left now. So he's got no uh, running backs on the field. So it's definitely going to be a passing situation here. And he does force it into the end zone for another user pick. This time, Ray Lewis. I'm just going to run it out of the back of the end zone. Huge interception there by Ray Lewis. We got him to make another mistake there on offense with that interception. And hopefully, we've only got 12 seconds left here. So I'm just going to be going for big plays. Uh, and hopefully we get some decent blocking here, which we do. We've got decent blocking. Let's go, Barry. 
Let's go. Step out of bounds. All right. Five seconds left. I don't know what we can do here to get into scoring position, but we're going to try. So we've got one second left, and it's pretty much a Hail Mary or nothing here at this point. So let's see what we can do. Eh. We take a sack, of course. If he picks this up and runs it back, I'm going to be livid. Okay. Well, not much done there. Uh, it, it really didn't matter there when we took that sack and he, and he uh, forced the fumble. Not a big deal. We do go into the half 14 to nothing now. And I feel pretty good about it, but I do have to kick off here to start the second half. So I need to make sure that I don't let him into the end zone here on this first drive. If I can keep him out of the end zone, at least to a field goal, that's going to give me the opportunity to put points on the board on offense and just keep kind of... Uh, you know, keeping up with his score. That's really all I need to do here in the second half is just not let him score, score 14, obviously. So that's kind of uh, my strategy here. I'm going to try and, you know, use a little bit of clock here and there. I'm not going to be a cheeser and just completely run it out. But at the same time, though, I want to make sure that uh, I run out a decent amount of clock so that he doesn't have a ton of opportunities to keep throwing it over the middle like that. I want him to try and make big plays. All right, so he's got the four wide again. Got to watch this middle here. Got to watch Randy Moss. Oh, he's got his tight end. Hit him, Sean Taylor. Oh, didn't force the incompletion, but still a nice hit there. He gained 20, though, on the play, so I'm not too happy about that. Got to keep trying to make him uh, make plays over the middle so that I can try and user pick it with my linebackers. That's my, kind of my strategy here. Wow, again, another pass there. I think that's, oh, that was Antonio Brown. Okay. But uh, again, over the middle, over the middle, over the middle, over the middle with this guy. And I've got to try and make some plays. Uh, got to try and force those interceptions, especially when he's going deep like that. This could be another running situation here. I'm going to pull Bob, Brian Dawkins right here. Yeah, okay. Gosh. His receivers are just killing my jams. That was Richard Sherman there. Granted, it's against Jerry Rice, but still, he just destroyed that jam. He's continuing to move the ball pretty effectively down the field here on this drive. I'm expecting like some sort of, oh gosh, again, I just, he kills me with those passes right to the, over the middle like that. I can't stop him right now. So he's done a very good job on this drive. Um, Got to try and, oh gosh, I, I thought he was going play action there, but he just easily ran it in for the touchdown. That makes it 14 to seven. He's got to be feeling good about that touchdown. Uh, I'm pretty frustrated at how I played on defense there. He just hit me with those same like streak almost like patterns over and over and over again. So I've got to try and do something to stop that on the next drive. After giving up that last drive touchdown, I do need to put some sort of points on the board here. And we're going to try and run it right at him here. There we go. Get those blocks. Go, Donald. Oh, almost hit him with the back juke. Still a nice gain there. We've got seven attempts now for 100 yards with Barry Sanders. And things are looking pretty good in the rushing category for me right now. We've done a very good job running with Barry Sanders so far. And now it's time to try and hit him here with the uh, QB wrap. I don't know if you'll see it coming. And he didn't, it looks like. We've got Cam Newton running loose, baby. Let's go, Cam. That spin move, though. Touchdown, Cam Newton. A sick touchdown run there by Cam Newton, and that puts points on the board for us. We do match that touchdown by my opponent on the last drive, and like I said, I just need to do that in the second half. If he puts points on the board, I've just got to match him, and we'll be all good. Okay, so he absolutely killed us on the last drive with just those passes over the middle, so I've got to try and defend that on this drive. Uh, cannot get beat with the passes over the middle. Another user pick. He tried to go to his running back out of the backfield. That is the third user pick of this game. And we are absolutely beasting on defense. Gotcha, bitch. We're now into the fourth quarter. And if I can put points on the board here on this drive, just if anything, even a field goal might be good enough. Oh, look at Barry. Oh, that, oh, that was Bettis. Bettis looking like Barry out there with that spin move. <laughs> Third and seven now, and I am just going to pass here um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up seven with a run. Let's go, Donald. He was wide open there, and you can't leave my favorite player in the game, Donald Penn, that wide open. I'm going to see him. He's kind of big. He's kind of a big guy to be playing tight end, so we do make that touchdown there. It is now 28-7, to and my opponent definitely needs to make some plays here. He's got to score on offense, and he has to be able to force some incompletions or maybe get some interceptions or force a fumble on defense, or else this game's going to be over. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Oh, the fumble forced on the kick return, and this game is quickly getting out of hand. That is a very, very devastating play for us, and uh, this game is looking pretty rough now for my opponent. Second and 10 now, and let's see if we can put any more points on the board here. Let's go. Oh, he committed. He committed. Ugh. I should have seen that coming. He did get the perfect play call there on defense with that run commit, and I just wasn't able to do anything. Third and goal now, and rather than try and pass uh, and potentially make a mistake, I'm just going to run the ball here. And he did make the right play call with another run commit there, but that's totally all right. We will just kick our field goal here, and we'll go up 31-7. to I don't have any problem with that at all. So I could run out more clock here, but I'm not going to. Let's just kick the field goal, huh? All right. 232 remaining in this one in the fourth quarter. He's got to pass here if he wants to put points on the board, and he needs to fast. He's got three touchdowns. He's going to need two-point conversions with all of them, and we get a nice sack there with Deacon Jones. Beautiful play there by my defense. Could it be another user pick? Nope, just another interception, though. Brian Dawkins does get that one. And a nice tackle there by his defender, but that is pretty much going to do it in this one. First and goal, and we could walk in here, but we're not going to. We're gonna, just going to take our one yard there, and that is pretty much going to wrap things up here in this game. Uh, a pretty close game, actually, for the most part. I know it's 31-7, to but he did play pretty decently. The problem was is that he threw a couple of interceptions. Actually, what? Three inter four interceptions in the game. And if he didn't do that, if he was able to complete those passes, or even if they were just incomplete, this game would have been completely different. I got kind of bailed out on that fumble return, or uh, the, the kick return that was picked up for a fumble. Um... And uh, with that, you know, it's hard to overcome those type of things. When you when you turn the ball over five times in a game, and I don't really, I don't think I turned it over at all. Uh, it, you know, pretty much these are the kind of scores that you're going to have at the end of a game. There's not really much that he could have done better. Um, I, I think that he actually played pretty decently, all things considered, but it just wasn't his game. So thank you for my to my opponent for playing. Congratulations for winning your playing game. Sorry you didn't win the the uh, actual game here at Pig Slips. But next week, we are going to have another awesome giveaway. So in the comment section, make sure you guys let me know what you want to play for. Not Barry Sanders, but pretty much anything else. If you guys want to play for anything else on my team, please let me know. And uh, we'll maybe make that happen for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.